friends welcome to the video lecture of biology chapter 6 that is life process in this chapter you will get the basic concept of different types of life processes occurring in living organism though it is very difficult to define life and living beings but we can say that life is cell based self regulated complex system of molecules where chemical reaction are going on all the time now what are the different characteristics of a living things or what are the various characteristics of life as you can see on the slide there are seven basic characteristics of life which are given by the acronym mrs green they are movement metabolism respiration sensitivity growth reproduction excretion and nutrition now the most and the important of these characteristics of movement which is of two type it is visible that is change in position or any of the body parts and it can be invisible that can occur at level of molecules both these visible and invisible movement are the deciding factor whether something is alive or not thus we can say the most important criteria to decide whether something is alive is movement now next we will be dealing with the definition of life process here you can see life processes are those activities and functions of living beings which are essential for maintenance and survival of life on this earth so these are all the basic functions which are similar in all organism so we can say that life process occurs in both unicellular and multicellular life forms now we see how these life processes are interrelated to each other first you see nutrition so nutrition how we obtain food next is respiration where every living beings requires energy for working out the body machinery so for that most of the organism uses uh, oxygen and for this the process is known as respiration then that oxygen has to be transported to each and every cell so therefore a mechanism of transportation is found which bring brings the all the nutrients and other material required by the cells then there is excretion that is a number of waste products are formed as a by product of any of the metabolic activities and they have to be removed from the body so the process of the removal of waste product from the body is known as the excretion now the means of transportation of the material and the oxygen in unicellular and multicellular organisms are different how we will see in unicellular organism there is no specific cellular organelles or any specific functions uh, performed by any a single cell but in multicellular organism we see there are clear cut division of labor that means mitochondria or cytoplasm or golgi bodies are specialized in their specific function but in unicellular there is a single cell which is always in contact with the outside environment